Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video using the web-based CAD tool on Shape. We'll be modeling a toy brick and using some of the basic features of the program to, mo to model that brick. We'll be staying away from some of the more advanced features, or advanced for a beginner that is, something like shell or any of these, uh, fill it some stuff like that, so that you can just focus on the basics. We'll use sketch, we'll use extrude, and we'll use linear pattern. Uh, including in, included in some of that, we'll be using some dimension constraints, some centering constraints, and other things. You'll see that I've modeled this with the center hollowed out. We added legs. We didn't add some of the support structures, just to keep it simple. And we added the pegs. The pegs were added with a single sketch, and that sketch was uh, extended to an array. So let's look at a uh, measured diagram of this that you'll be able to use. So this diagram is available on Teachers Pay Teachers and you can see the full measurements are listed here or if you want it to turn it into a workshop for yourself there's some blank spaces uh, some worksheets with blank spaces as you can see here and I'll include the link in the in the description so you are able to do that so with that let's get started with our Onshape drawing after you log into Onshape you present be presented with your dashboard which includes uh, public documents and stuff created by yourself and what you'll simply have to do at this point is create a new document. Uh, once you've created that new document, we can proceed to create the brick. You'll see you'll be presented here with your Onshape workspace uh, in just a few seconds. To start our model, we're gonna create a sketch. The sketch will be located on the top plane, and then we'll be adding a centered rectangle. The default starts with a corner rectangle, but we're gonna center this in our in our model. So you'll see that as we approach the center, the constraint is shown uh, and we can just pull out, create our rectangle. The next thing that Onshape wants you to do is enter dimensions. You can see that um, the dimension is selected here for entry and we're going to add 31.8. And then it moves to the second dimension, which in our case will be 15.8. And that's all we need to do for the sketch. So we'll close that. And then we're going to extrude this sketch. So we'll go select the sketch and select extrude. You'll see that it's pre-selected in this box here. And we're just going to enter a dimension and it's going to be 9.6 millimeters high. And we can hit enter to accept that. And that's our basic body that we'll be using for the rest of the model. The second sketch that we're going to add is on top of the brick, we're going to add the peg. We're just going to add one peg because later on we're going to uh, array that. So I'm going to pick a circle using a center point and I'm just going to put it about where I need it to be. And you'll see that the dimension is highlighted. Now I just happen to have a radius um, instead of the, instead of the uh, diameter. But what you can do is, if uh, one thing you can do in these uh, dimension boxes, you can do arithmetic. So we're just going to be 2.42. And that changes it to a dimension for us, you know. Um, and there's good. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an offset. So we're going to do a a, um, a constraint, and it's going to be a dimension constraint. So I'm going to add the center of this circle. I'm going to pick the line over here. You'll see that it automatically adds that constraint from the center to the, to the line. And the distance in our case is, is going to be 3.90. And then I'll second that dimension to this line. Oops, I picked the center point of the line. Let's try that again. So dimension, I'll pick the center point of the circle and a non-center point of the line. And you can see that this uh, the, um, the dimension tool is adaptive or not. We'll put that right about here. And we'll also make that 3.9. And that's our first peg. The next thing we'll be doing is extruding that peg. So I'm going to select the sketch and I'll select extrude. And we'll, we'll give it a height to extrude. So the height of this peg is 1.8 millimeters. We'll enter that and it'll be resized to 0.8. So we have our first peg done. We'll come back to arraying that in a little bit. The next sketch we'll add is the text on top of the peg. So we'll start by selecting the plane of the top of the peg and adding a sketch to it. Then we'll select the text toolbar icon and we'll make a box on the peg. We'll add brick 
for the text and click check when we're done. I'm going to move to the top of the drawing so it's so we see it as if we're editing text. And the next thing we want to do is center this text in this circle. But there's no center point. There's no good center point on the on the text. Um, and there's no constraint that will pick a center point for us. So we're going to add a construction line. It's going to go from this side. I'm going to make sure I have the uh, center point constraint. And I'll use the center point constraint over here. And then I'm going to right click and change this to a, a um, I have to escape line first, sorry. I'm going to right click and change this to a construction. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is select the point created at the end of that line. Let me unselect this line and I'm going to select the circle and apply a concentric constraint. And you'll see now our text is centered. Now I'm going to give a, I'm going to give a, a dimension to the width of the text. So we'll select dimension and then select the bottom of the text and we'll add 4.5 millimeters as the dimension. And there our text is centered. We can finish the sketch, select it again, and extrude. We won't see the extrusion in this case because we're directly over view. I'm going to hit, put in uh, 0.15 millimeters. And then let's change the view so we can see the resulting extrusion. And you see we've got our extrusion there. The next feature we're going to add are the seven additional pegs that make up the top of this brick. We'll be doing that with the linear pattern. But before we do that, I want to I'll show you how to avoid some of the zoom problems that you may have already noticed. Uh, you'll notice that when I clicked this view, it included the uh, planes of the document object, or the, ob you know, the main object. We're going to hide those planes. And then when we zoom, it'll zoom right up to the object. So in order to create our seven additional pegs, I'm going to click on linear pattern. We're going to change this to a feature pattern because we only have one part So at this point. So with the blue box, with the box selected in blue, I'm going to select extrude two and extrude three. We can do uh, multiple features in a, um, in a linear pattern. Then we're going to pick the direction. So I'm going to click on the direction box and then a piece of the model that is in the direction we want it to go. You'll notice that there's only two right now, so we're going to make that four. And we're going to make them eight millimeters uh, for the distance that we want. And you'll see I just you can just click on something else or hit enter. We need to add a second uh, set of a uh, second row of pegs, so I'm going to rotate the model around uh, just so we can kind of see what we're doing. I'm going to add a second direction. Let me sure I click right in the middle there. I want to make sure I have directions selected. And let me click on this face here. So you see it says face of extrude, that's what we want. We want it also to be eight millimeters and we want two of them. This time I'm just gonna hit enter for it to process it. And you'll see we have our pegs completed. To save them, I'm just gonna click on the check mark and then we're ready for our next feature. The next feature will require hollowing out a section on the bottom of the brick. So we'll move to the bottom and select that plane. We'll add a sketch to it and we'll define the box by using a centered rectangle or center point rectangle. So you select the center and just drag it out to approximately the right value. It doesn't really matter. You can see that this dimension is highlighted, meaning we can just type in the value and the value is 28.9 millimeters. And when you hit enter, it's going to move to the other dimension on the left there. And we'll just enter that value, which is 12.9. And there we have the sketch for remove, removing the underside of it. So we'll close the sketch. And we'll be doing an, another extrude, but this time we'll be doing remove instead of new or add. So you see that it's already removed the, uh, the underside of the brick, but it's removed too much. It's gone straight through to the top. So we have to enter, enter a depth of how far we want to remove, and that depth is 8.6 millimeters. And you can see now that our, we've removed the correct amount. So we can close that extrude and move on to our next feature. The next feature we'll be adding are the legs underneath the brick. So we'll start by adding a sketch. 
we're going to select the top plane as the sketch plane. Even though you can't see it, it will, we can still select it using the tree here. And you can see the outline of the plane is, is there. Let's get a bottom view so it's easier to work with. And let's add a circle to this sketch. I'm just going to add that arbitrarily. You can see that the dimension is uh, waiting for us here. So we're going to put in uh, 6.5 and that's the outer diameter of that circle. And let's go to a flat bottom view so that we can work more easily. And I'm going to add another circle. You notice I picked the concentric constraint for the two centers and now it's asking for the dimension. So this is the inside diameter, which is going to be 4.8. It's listed as the radius in our drawing. And then finally, we want to position it by using the dimension tool. So I'm going to select the, select the dimension tool, this edge here in the center of the circle. And I'm going to put in 6.45. That's the distance from the inside wall. And we'll do the same thing with the dimension tool still selected from the center to the other wall here. And that is also 6.45. And that completes the sketch for the leg. And next we'll extrude it. Let's look at where it's positioned. You see it's there. Okay, so next we'll extrude that leg. To extrude the leg, we're going to select the sketch, click Extrude, and we're going to do two things. We want to make sure it's a, um, a, a selected as solid and not surface. And then we want to change this from blind to up to next. And that extrudes it to the inside face of the brick. And that's all we need to do for the extrusion.